You can't get away! If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gals, carcass. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. It's the minister of the church. He's been hung up and disemboweled as some sort of obscene give spectacle. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out it of It must there. be intended as a warning to the Christians of Innsmouth. Open these doors, outsider! There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. I can feel a strong draft of air coming from the drainage You're pipe. Trapped. There's no place you can run. You can't get away! Come out now! We'll not gut the gals, carcass! Just give your I should let the bell outsider. finish ringing the first. Have mercy on your I should soul. let the bell finish ringing first. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. These doors, outsider! You're trapped. There's no place you can run. <sighs> there are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. <sighs> they all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. All these articles relate to the deaths of Innsmouth citizens. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. It's a registry of births, deaths and marriages in Innsmouth. small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. The numbers seem to be random. postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. I must have got something wrong.
Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The safe holds a stone cross. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside down cross. Nothing of any value remains. We should take a look inside the bank. Shit, some of the planks look weak. I'd better watch my step.
It won't open. Spread out! What was that? I see him! Take him down! He's here! Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. It won't budge. Decorative vases and bowls. All of them empty. What can you tell me about the Order? They control all aspects of life in Innsmouth, Jack. Law, business, religion, politics, everything. Robert Marsh is the man at the top. He's a real recluse. No one born out of Innsmouth has set eyes on him in decades. The government has nothing on this Marsh fella? Only that he's an intensely religious man, obsessed with fanaticism and witchcraft. He's evil, Jack. Rumors round these parts reckon even Beelzebub himself lies in fear of Robert Marsh. What about the rest of the Marsh family? Well, there's Sebastian, Robert's elder brother. He's the manager of the Marsh Refinery. He's more of a businessman. There's gossip on the streets of a feud between the brothers. Hold on a second, Mackie. I thought Jacob Marsh was the refinery manager. Well, yes, he is. Jacob is Sebastian's son. He handles the day-to-day -day running of the place, but the real power lies with Sebastian. Where's the jailhouse? At the end of the main corridor. Just through the window. Thanks, Mackie.